What is up? They are cloning meat. They're cloning fruit. What I need y'all to do is, I need y'all to clone my mind because my goal is to instill my knowledge into the masses. That way we can have more people, more tea walks more people with this knowledge so you can help spread awareness and help the earth, all right? Again, they're cloning meat, they're cloning fruit, clone my mind, and instill the stuff that I teach y'all into your family. Because if not, let me break this down to y'all, right? There's over 165,000 hospitals, all right? First, go ahead and text that word T-Walk. Text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K, to the phone number 413-72 to get that free guide of Foods Deep, Foods to Avoid. That'll also give you the link to my university, all right? But listen, there's over 165,000 hospitals, all right? There's over 500,000 doctors, all right? Sorry, there's over 500,000 doctor's offices, all right? Tens of millions of doctors, all right? So... 19,000 plus approved prescription medications, right? So why the hell is disease still on the rise? Why do they got to keep coming out with new medications if the curriculum that these doctors were stuttering, studying, the degrees that they're getting, right? If this was actually working, these are the common sense things you have to ask yourself when you look at the analytics. But most people don't look at the analytics, right? These are the very simple things you need to attention to when I give you this free game so that you can help not focus on eating the clone meat, the clone fruits, all this trash. You need to be listening to the stuff I'll be teaching y'all, clone my mind, instill the knowledge that I give y'all for free, share it with a friend, family member, loved ones, so that then they can run with the information, maybe be a member of my university so you can become a holistic health practitioner or specialist and know what you're doing and know how to help decrease the number of diseases, decrease the number of people on pills, decrease the number of people in and out the hospitals, in these nursing homes, because they want you sick, broke, stupid, and soft, right? The sicker you are, guess what? The more pills you're going to need, the more trillions that they make, right? The sicker that you are, the more you're going to struggle in life, the more you're going to need the system, right? The broker you are, the more you're going to have to listen to their rules and go to their nine to fives and go to lunch when they tell you to go to lunch and get time off to go to your kid's basketball game if they want to let you, right? This is going to make you soft, right? Stupid. When you lack education, you lack knowledge on how to create freedom, wealth, finances, experience for your families, you become a soft, very submissive human being. And when they tell you to put the thing on your face and stay in the house and be scared, you will listen. And not only that, you'll sit and look at the news and listen to them tell you these negative. I was in the gym earlier today. I look up, I want to see emergency health concerns. <laughs> Residents said, no, I said, stay in the house. I'm like, yo, spikes of C19 are at it again. Get the shot, right? This is what's going on. Comment some questions. I'm going to answer some questions. It's just insane. Like the simple facts that people don't pay attention to. You got to pay attention, all right? Because the, and this is the thing, like a lot of people talk about my grandma, she lived to be a hundred and she ate hot dogs, cigarettes, and henny, right? <laughs> that was her diet. That was literally all she consumed. Cigarettes, she sat on the front porch and had cigarettes, shots of henny, and hot dogs, right? But what you don't understand is, not only is the air quality lower, not only is the value, the, the nutritional value in these foods lower, there's more genetically modified, more cloned, more processed, more ingredients that weren't allowed before, right? So you have to take a lot of things into account, right? It's different times. It's different times, all right? <laughs> Hell, even the hot dogs your grandma was eating was healthier than the hot dogs that you eat now. <laughs> Just keeping it real with you. Let me look at y'all's questions real quick. Yeah, text the word T-Walk. My goal is to... And still, this message, the knowledge that I kicked to y'all into as many people as possible so you all can run with this information. There can be more people who have a high level of knowledge on how to repair the body, on how to self-diagnose, right? On herbs, 
how to combine them, how to prepare them, how to make tinctures, how what a proper breakfast is, how to properly detox, how to fight cancer, reverse cancer, prevent cancer. The goal of everything I teach is to make sure you prevent it. I know a lot of y'all come to me because you already have it, but, and that's why I market the way I do, because if you notice the way I dress, the way I speak, you know, my style is to target the youth. Because if I can tap into the mind of a 12-year-old that follows me, a 15-year-old, an 18-year-old, a 20, a 25-year-old that follows me, this is getting them early so that hopefully they don't have an illness, they don't have a disease yet. Although, unfortunately, most do. Because 95% of the world has an illness and is on a pill for that illness. And most of the world is on more than one prescription for an illness. The rates of children with diseases is up. You understand that, right? The rates of babies being born with disabilities, missing limbs, is up. You understand that, right? Not to mention the amount of stuff that they will put in your child by the age of five. They have no problem giving a five-year-old, younger than five, 20 different, 20 different uh, pokes, right? And most children get diagnosed with Autism around the age of four and five, right? After they've already poked them up with tons of heavy metals and chemicals and who knows what else. On top of the Similac that you're feeding the children because you can't produce breast milk because your body's dehydrated and you're lacking nutrients and minerals to allow your body to do what it's supposed to do so that you can provide for your child naturally. So instead, you go to the grocery store and you get these powders full of a bunch of fillers and artificial flavors and soy and sugar. Just because it says sugar-free, they just change the name. They put caramel coloring and they put all these different names because there's hundreds of different names for sugar. And this is what you feed your child. Somebody comment free game. I need to make sure I'm not talking to myself. Am I talking to myself right now? Can I get at least 10 free game comments? I need to make sure I'm not talking to myself. Ah. Uh... Why aren't you on a national level fighting for everyone that doesn't have a voice? I do my best to market. I do my best to get y'all to share the message. They do their best to shut me down and ban me and censor my videos to make sure I don't get view shares and people don't follow me. And I don't even have a, they ban my um, ads accounts. This is why I built my own platform. And this is why it's up to you all to share the information that I spread. If you believe that anything I say is valuable, why would you not share that to your story? Because that would be you not being selfish and spreading the message to other people with information that you liked and brought value to you. So it probably will bring value to your supporters, right? This is, this is up to you. I do everything I can, right? You have to support. You have to help me help you. You have to help me help the world, right? If you see value in what I teach. If you don't see value in what I teach, click the unfollow, block me. If you're usually offended, my page ain't for you. If you don't like to hear the real truth, if you don't like to see dramatic testimonials every single day for three years and nine months straight, Go to, my, go to my Instagram story when you get off of here. Just look at the testimonials, right? I can't, I'm not able to have a bad day because the testimonials, the comments, the messages, the DMs that I wake up to every single day of people no longer having cancer, cysts being shrunk, fibroids being completely gone, thyroids being repaired, blood pressure medication gone, off three medications for diabetes, losing 50 pounds, losing 100 pounds, uh, tumors and breasts being gone, eyesight coming back, people no longer, I got two video testimonials just in the past three days from two different women, one white lady, one black lady, doesn't matter what race, what religion, where you're at, where you're from, what language you speak, if you can understand, if you can translate the information that I give you all, you can get the results, but I got two testimonials just in the past three days, right, a uh, white lady who was, took some pills, wasn't able to walk anymore, back to, followed my program, did a 30-day detox, Follow the protocol for the nervous system in my holistic health university, which is only a $29.99. She invested $29.99 a dollar per day. Got that. She's back to walking. Uh, another lady who had a blood infection due to, I'm not sure exactly what, I can't remember. She couldn't walk, was in the hospital. Blood's completely cleansed now. Back to walking. This is what I wake up to every single day, right? And I leave the names in them so you can verify that they're real, right? Yeah, you got to share the message. You got to share the message. Did anybody comment free game? Or am I hopping off this live? Oh, okay, there we go. There's a delay in the comment. I was about to say. I was about to say. 
You ain't got no love for T Walk, huh? <laughs> you ain't got no love for T Walk, huh? You ain't got no love for holistic health, huh? <laughs> Let me see. What about frozen flour? Sour stuff that comes in a container and only one ingredient. I'd have to see it. I'd have to see it. I love your page. I appreciate the support. If you're dealing with lupus over and over again, it's funny. I got probably five DMs today about lupus. Um, and three of them said exactly what I always say. Three, three people DM me today, I know off the top of my head, and said, hey, I have lupus. Do you know anything that helps with kidney health? Because I always tell you all that as soon as you get lupus or autoimmune disease, I tell you all this, right? Over and over again for years straight. This is how it's going to go. Once you get diagnosed with that, weeks or months or a year or so later, the doctor is going to tell, bring you back in or you're going to have your a follow-up appointment. The doctor's going to say, unfortunately, because of your autoimmune disease, it's now damaging your kidney and I got to put you on these, these pills for the kidney now on top of all the ones for autoimmune disease. And because you have this autoimmune disease, uh, yeah, you shouldn't be taking herbs because herbs are detrimental to the autoimmune disease. This is what happens. This is what they say, right? I tell you this all the time. When they're completely incorrect, your kidney was not functioning at a high level in the first place, which is what caused autoimmune disease. They have it completely backwards. Your kidney helps regulate the acids in your body. Most of you have too much acid in your body because you're eating acidic food 24-7. So you have systemic acidosis, meaning acid running wild throughout your body. Now, what this is, that's all that immune disease is, autoimmune disease is. Your kidney was damaged in the first place. It wasn't that the autoimmune disease caused the kidney not to function. Your kidney wasn't functioning, which caused autoimmune disease. And autoimmune disease is just the name they made up so they can stamp because... All right, in our curriculum, the eight years, the, the 12 years that we went to school to get this PhD and this plaque on the wall and have no testimonials, by the way, um, and this nice little stethoscope and I have glasses and gray hair slicked to the side, so I'm smart, right? And we wear white, so it makes you feel like I'm an angel or something like that. It's all a marketing scheme, right? Uh, yeah, it said that if someone gets autoimmune disease, boom, this is the pill you give them. Someone gets this one, you get, this is the pill that you give them, right? Forget all logic and facts. <laughs> Just give you pills to mask the real issue. Cover it up so that you stay in the hamster wheel, in the loophole. And now you'll come back in a few few months and we're just going to tell you you have kidney issues. And we're going to give you another one. And now you're on so many pills. This is damaging all of your organs. This is causing heavy metals in the body. This is causing acid in the body. You have no idea what's in these pills. You have no idea the ingredients. Matter of fact, take this poke while you're at it. Now you have hundreds and hundreds of different ingredients running wild throughout your body. So now your body is no longer in its natural state. So therefore, when your body's not in its natural state, pay attention. Pay attention. When your body's not in its natural state and you're no longer natural from all the fake, cloned, right, GMOs, highly hybridized products, all the chemicals they've pumped up in you since you were a child in many cases. You go in, oh, you need to get the tetanus poke. You need to get this one. Oh, it's flu season. Make sure to go get your flus. And, oh, and this, and this is on the news. Be scared. Get this one, right? So at this point, you're no longer, you're 30 years old. You're 50. You're no longer a natural human being, right? You're no longer a natural human being. So if you're not a natural human being because they've literally shifted your DNA, Rearranged your whole insides, rearranged your nervous system, damaged your lymphatic system, which is your immune system. The neurotransmitters in your brain are all damaged. The ones that you do have left are just being programmed by a blue face and fucking whatever bullshit's on TV. You're no longer in your natural state at all from your mindset, your body, your blood, your DNA. Everything's modified, right? So then you step outside and you get sick, right? What do I mean? You go around trees, you get your ears itch, eyes puffy, you're allergic to earth. You're literally allergic to earth. Why? Because the earth outside is nature. You're no longer natural. So when you go in nature, you actually get sick and weird adverse reactions from being in nature. Do you understand how insane that is? We have gotten to the point where we can't go outside 
because we get sick and our eyes get puffy and watery and our ears itch and our throat itch and we have to take pills, which the pills that you take for these allergies because your natural body is no longer in its natural state and you can no longer be in nature are nothing but milk, right? The main ingredient in these allergy medications is lactose monohydrate, right? Look it up. It's milk sugar. It's milk sugar. So you literally, then they put you on milk sugar, 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 and everything, because sugar is more addicting than anything, right? It's more addicting than the white stuff you sniff up your nose. It's more addicting than alcohol. It's more addicting than the cigarettes. You're only addicted to the cigarettes because of the sugar, because of the plum juice that they put in the tips, right? <laughs> it's not the nicotine, right? You understand this, right? Then the alcohol is sugar. Your body converts these sugars into alcohol, so you're actually an alcoholic, right? All the sugars ending in O-L, every sugar ending in O-L. Look up sugars, words for sugar that end in O-L. It's nothing but alcohol. It converts in your body to alcohol. You're an addict. You're an alcoholic. You're an addict. You're a fiend. You're addicted. You will continue to be addicted until you detox and cleanse your body properly. Somebody comment free game. Yeah, you're like, fuck, yo, if I could just have a fucking Snickers bar right now, I need a fucking Snickers bar, yo. This is how people act. I can't wait to get off work, yo. I can't wait to get off work. I gotta, oh my goodness, yo. I gotta go to fucking Dairy Queen. Work was so stressful today. I need Dairy Queen. I can't make it another day without Dairy Queen. Or I'm gonna start shaking and twitching and have a stroke, right? It's insane. But this is 95% of the world. This is why I show up every single day to give y'all some free game and just hope. I just cross my fingers. Maybe, maybe don't pay attention, right? But I don't use the word maybe, so I'm going to assume you pay attention. I know most sadly don't. This is what's going on, right? So you're not in your natural state, so you go out in nature. I wasn't finished with that. I'm just going off, right? <laughs> Sometimes I was only just sitting here on the couch. And I just got in the mood to teach, right? Um, so you can't go out in nature because your body's not in its natural state. You get sick from stepping outside, right? Go to the forest right now. You're going to come out looking like... <laughs> you're going to come out looking like Martin from that one episode where his whole face is swollen, right? Just from going in nature. Now, on top of this, you can't even, be, even consume natural things. You know how many DMs and comments I get? What if I'm allergic to apples? What if I'm allergic to coconuts? What if I'm allergic to watermelons? What if I'm allergic to walnuts? What if I'm allergic to mangoes? What if I'm allergic to, yo, you know why you're allergic to nature? That's nature. You're allergic to nature when you say that. The few natural things we have, you are not able to consume. Say, T, I love everything you teach, but everything that you, that you list, everything on your foods list, everything on Dr. Sebi's foods list, I'm allergic to because your body's no longer in its natural state. You need to detox. You need to cleanse. You need to do a thorough cleanse, right? Y'all doing these little three days, five days. Oh, I ate nothing but watermelon for three days. I feel amazing. A week later, I wonder, I don't know why I still have, why I still have lupus. I don't know why the, the tumor in my breast hasn't shrunk yet. The doctor's saying they got to cut it off. They need to put me through chemo and radiation, which is just them crossing their fingers and blowing up all the cells and saying, hope we got it because we have no idea what the hell we're doing at all. We're not going to teach them how to eat. Matter of fact, when they're laying in the hospital bed, we're going to bring them in fake chicken and gravy on it and give them pudding cups and, and whatever else while we hook this machine up to them and give them artificial sugar and salts to hydrate them, right? This is frustrating, right? So you're allergic to nature. If you haven't yet, at least text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K, to the phone number 41372. Who honestly falls for this shit? 95% of the world. 95% of the world is sick, broke, stupid, and solved. This is why I teach you finances. If you don't know anything about finances, you're never going to have... Oh, quick poll real quick. How many of y'all would like me to teach you all how to purchase land at a low cost that you could use for farming, to grow your own things, or to even flip and make a profit, right? Comment four if you would like me to teach you all 
bring a webinar to y'all or some in some sort of way and teach you how to get land, invest in land, make money off of land, or just use the land and be able to get it at an affordable rate and actually keep it to grow your own fruits, vegetables, things like that. Comment for if you're interested in that. All right. So many things we need to learn and ways we need to grow and we just missing the mark in many. Yo, 95% of the world is on a pill. You know how crazy that is? And these are facts, right? Most of the world is on more than one pill. All right. So the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to keep waking up and taking pills? Are you just going to keep waking up and being sick and overweight? Right? These overweight kids. Right? I'll be honest, like with the amount of knowledge that's on the internet nowadays, between Instagram, between ChatGPT, between Google, between TikTok, between YouTube. And the fact obesity in children is going up. It's to the point where it's like, all right, I got to start, I got to start, uh, we got to start blaming the parents, right? Because you got access to knowledge, you're neglecting it. So it's almost like child neglect if you're neglecting the knowledge and still giving your kids these foods. Because we can't blame the government, right, at this point, right? We can do, not, not saying it's not their fault to a point, but, you know, there's, there's tons of knowledge out there. Right. We know the government is giving us trash. But we know that there's at least healthier options. Now, on top of this, you're giving your kids. You're the one filling the cabinets. Like if you got a seven year old, the seven year old isn't making money. The seven year old isn't going grocery shopping with the cart. The seven year old's not picking out things for the most part. The seven year old's not driving to McDonald's. This, this isn't the seven-year-old. This isn't your child. It's you. You need to be arrested. <laughs> it's, that's, it's, child, it's child abuse. It's child abuse, right? You got your, your kid running around 45% body fat. No neck. Who did that? You did. Most of the things that's in your house, your kid couldn't even reach on the shelf. You reached up there and grabbed that. You brought it home. You stop at McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and Arby's and Carl's Jr. every single day. You don't want to hear this. You'll unfollow me and block me because now you feel bad because you're, you're looking at your child and they're overweight, right? They get made fun of. So now you're causing emotional issues in your child. Not to mention the foods that you're giving them are damaging the brain. That's why they got ADHD, ADD, right? NLD classes, just like I was, right? In school, back when I was eating these horrible things. Fruit roll-ups, fruit by the foot, uh, fruity pebbles, tricks, uh, all the fake fruit, all the foods that use fruit flavors, real fruit flavors, when you can just give them the fruit, right? Chips, lollipops, Takis. How many of y'all in here got Takis in your kitchen right now? Probably a large percentage. If you got kids, you probably got Takis. That's... I need to break down the statistics of that, right? I'm feeling like there's a 90% chance if you have kids, you have Takis in your house. That's the sad truth, right? Who who bought the Takis? Your child? Did your child reach up and grab the Takis? Did your child have, I don't know, how much are they? $4, $5 a bag? Did your child have five bucks? Did your child have a license and drive to the store? Was it your child or or was it you? It's kind of child abuse, right? Eh? Eh? You don't want to hear that, though. You don't want to hear that, though. What other questions y'all got? I'm just going off at the top right now. I was in the mood to teach. I just pop my phone on, just go off at the top. I, I was actually just scrolling through random filters. <laughs> Let me tell you how I teach, right? <laughs> Nothing structured. I said, yo, I just want to use a different filter today. And I scrolled. I said, oh, this is pretty dope. The first thing that came to mind, clone. Oh, I'm going to start off with clone me and... We're going to go from there and let's just go. Right? <laughs> That's how we did it today. Yeah, comment for though if y'all are interested in purchasing land, purchasing acres, whether to hold and build on and, you know, hold for long term investments or to flip, whatever. Comment for if you're interested in learning that. 
Yeah. Stay away from the Takis. Text the word T-Walk to the phone number 41372. If you haven't yet, get that free guide to Fools Deep, Fools to Avoid. If you're new to my page, I've produced over 10,000 dramatic testimonials. I leave the names in them so you can verify that they're real. None of my shit is fake. That's 100% facts. You can lie detector test me at any point, any time, right? The picture I posted of my arms, people are saying it's edited. <laughs> Even though it's a screenshot from a video. Uh, they say you're on roids. You, yeah, right. You're lying. You're using BCAs. You're using creatine. You use protein powder. You use pre-workouts. You're using something. You're using TRT. Pull up on me. Lie detector. Test me at any time. Drug test me at any time with no notice. I will pass with flying colors. There's a lot of fake people on the internet. I get it. <laughs> there's a lot. When I teach you about finances, right? When I teach you about business, there's a lot of people with rental cars, right? There's a lot of people that stunt and get good videographers and make it look good. I assure you, <laughs> I'm not one of those. <laughs> Every day is actually Friday. I actually teach you all how to get money in 10 different streams of income in my Holistic Health University. I have tons of testimonies of people improving their credit. I don't have a credit fix program. I teach you how to fix your own credit, right? I teach you how to establish business credit. I teach you stocks. I teach you Airbnb. I teach you crypto. I teach you Turo, right? I'm not fake. I'm a real supporter. Facts, right? You see, I got the McLaren, right? A, a, a luxury car, a car, you know, they say as soon as you take it off the lot, it, uses, it loses value. It's not a, you know... It's not an investment, it's a liability. Yeah, if you use it wrong, right? But imagine if you got a McLaren, you live in Miami. When people come to Miami, they want to stunt, right? So let's say, like, worst case scenario, all I have to my name is my McLaren that I own, right? And I'm going to be good, right? Because I can put that up on Turo at any time for $1,200 a day. I'm in Miami. Right? It'll stay booked all throughout the months. Now you put a thousand, twelve hundred a day times thirty days. That's thirty thousand a month I can pull from the car, which is supposed to be a liability at any point, right? So it's all about the knowledge, how you utilize things. Right? So for me, it's an investment or a backup investment. I don't always do that, but if need be, I know. I always got thirty thousand in the in the stash right there. Easy. See what I'm saying? That's just one of the cars. So it's all about how you use things, right? You're following what I'm saying? Comment one if you follow what I'm saying. I teach you these things in my Holistic Health University, right? Dollar per day. I teach you how to get out of your nine to five. I teach you how I went from broke, sick, stupid, and soft, just like many of you all. If you're easily offended, my page ain't for you. Many of you all in here are high body fat. You're on pills. You have diseases. You lack education on many important things. You lack a high income earning skill set. You lack... Freedom, you have your alarm set right now. A lot of you have already logged off because you got work in the morning. You hate your job. You hate your car. Your car breaks down. You hate your apartment complex. You hate your home. You got leaks. You hate You hate everything, right? Cars breaking down. You hate your view. You hate the weather where you're at. You hate that you've never even been out of the country before. You hate that you don't have a passport. You hate that you don't even have, I don't know, $300 in your bank account right now to go get a passport if you want it. You hate the fact that you don't, I don't know, have 85 bucks to go down to staples and get TSA pre-checked and skip all the lines. And then if you have an Amex card that you get reimbursed for that, so you actually got it for free, so you get to skip the lines, you don't got to take your shoes off and your hats off and your jackets off. You hate these things, but you don't change anything. You just wake up and you do the same thing over again. You do the same thing over again. You do the same thing over again, right? You give me so much free game, right? But it starts with the mindset. If your mindset's not right, if you're not looking to learn, guess what? You're going to continue. You're not going to grow. The only way you're going to grow is in weight, in body fat, right? If you don't take in the knowledge that's available to you from me or anybody else on the internet, I'm your biggest fan. I appreciate the support. If they upset you saying this, then they mad with themselves. You know, most people are upset with themselves, right? Again, when I was sick, broke, stupid, and soft... My first step was looking in the mirror and saying, yo, I'm sick, broke, stupid, and soft. I'm 275 pounds. I got sleep apnea. I can't even walk through the grocery store without my back tightening up. I got bulging disc level five on my back. Um, severe anxiety. I'm in and out the hospital. I eat something small. I got a hunch over. I'm so cramped because I got Crohn's disease. 
I got eighty dollars in my bank account, and that's got to last two weeks, right? I've been, I was there, right? I was there. The difference with me is I look in the mirror. I say, yo, you're sick. You're broke. You're stupid. You don't have much education right now. You don't know much about much, right? You, you don't know what you don't know. That's the biggest thing, right? And that causes me to be soft. I'm soft right now, right? It's just the facts. You should be around people that make you a little insecure, right? If your circle, if people in your circle don't make you like a little insecure, right? And what I mean by that is the people in your circle, like they should have something going for themselves. Like you should get around your one homie and like he's so great at, I don't know, real estate. So when you talk to him in your head, you're a little self-conscious. You're like, yo, I don't really know what he's talking about. I don't really understand it, right? That's good. That means you got a good, that means you're around the right people, right? Then your other friend is so smart when it comes to herbs or holistic health, right? When they're talking, you should feel a little insecure. You're like, yo, I know. I don't know what he's talking about. Damn, I just ate a burger in my damn self, right? That's good. You don't want to be around the friend who just had Burger King just like you had Burger King. <laughs> All right? You need to get around a friend that just got back from the gym knowing damn well you ain't been to the gym in three weeks. It's your circle. Your circle's all wrong. The people you hang around is wrong. Your family's wrong. Cut your family off. Harsh. You got to sometimes. <laughs> if you, gotta be, if you wanna be successful, you gotta get away from your mom who thinks that you're just supposed to work the same job and follow the same career path she did, right? Your mom can't tell you how to be a millionaire and not have a job. Because guess what? Your mom's always had a job and never been a millionaire. So why are you taking her advice? Shut your face, mom. And give me back my skateboard. All right? That's what you need to do. <laughs> she can't, you're not qualified for this conversation. I'm telling you, hey, mom, I'm about to do this. It's going to make me a million. And I'm not going to work a job. And I'm about to travel the world. And I'm going to circle back. And I'm going to pay all your bills and hand you $10,000 and all that stuff. Right? No, you shouldn't do that. That's not very safe. You need to, you're gonna not, you're not gonna have a 401k. What are you gonna do about health insurance? These are conversations I had with my mom. I'm just keeping it real. Right? What are you gonna do about health insurance? What about 401k? Well, what happens if this happens? What if, what if, what if, what if? If try can't, almost maybe, all the words I don't use, right? I said, Mom, I love you. I appreciate you, raise, you for raising me. You've been a, you've raised a good man, right? But shut your face right now. <laughs> you can't you can't tell me that you can't tell me how to quit my job, have no boss, have no schedule, have my dream car, how to hand you ten thousand dollars, how to make sure your bills are paid. You can't tell me how to get to that point, because you've never got to that point, right? You can't tell me why I shouldn't go to Mexico because the news said that they're cutting people's off, right? <laughs> Cause you don't have a passport. You've never been on a flight. You can't tell me how dangerous a flight is and why I shouldn't fly here because you've never been on a flight, right? I love you, mom. I appreciate you. But this, I can't have this conversation with you. I got to go, right? I'm just giving you real shit. Your wife, your man, your girl, you, you just got to cut them off sometimes. Not cut them off completely, but limit the conversation, right? When it starts to get to that negative low frequency, she's like, shut your face, right? <laughs> Change the subject. Because you don't want to hear it, right? <laughs> it's giving you some free game. Of course, I'm, you know, making it funny and everything, right? Don't be rude to your mom. <laughs> Do not be rude to your mom, right? But certain people, no matter how close they are, they are to you, are going to tell you, you can't. Yeah, and that dude, they're going to say, they're, you're going to send them my page. Yeah, he, he sounds good, but who can eat like that? Who could survive off of that, right? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't pay no damn thirty dollars to. Why would you pay thirty dollars to learn ten different streams of income from someone who actually has done it and has so many testimonies? Why would you pay? Why would you listen to someone on the internet who's posted ten thousand testimonials and help people get rid of diseases? You need to go to the doctor who has no testimonials. That's what I, I'm going. To, you know what? I'm making you appointment. This is the mindset, right? You got to get around different people, friends, family, and more. Y'all following what I'm saying? Comment one if you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs>
I'm detoxing, but I don't want to lose weight. And guess what? You don't want to detox. It's impossible to, if you're doing a proper detox, it's impossible to not lose weight. You're going to lose some water weight. You're getting rid of toxins. You're getting rid of these chemicals, preservatives, sugars, all the meat clogged up in you, all the eggs, all the dairy, all the popcorn, all the trash you've been eating. It's up in you. So if you do a proper detox and you don't lose any weight, you didn't detox. Somebody just marketed to you a bullshit detox or told you that this one thing was going to cleanse your body. You didn't actually get cleansed, right? Your blood's not actually cleansed. You didn't actually get oxygen to the cells. You just did a bunch of nothing. And most of you detox. And as soon as you detox, what do you do? You detox or you fast, say five days. That five, the five days, the fifth day, you so hungry. You so fed up with the damn detox and fasting. What do you do? You go right to a heavy ass meal. You get a burger. You go back, right back to the meat. Or you get a heavy vegan option, right? You eat a bunch of pasta. You just... You just completely tarnish the whole fact that you just detox, right? You need to redo it over again because you break. You don't even know how to break your fast and how to break, come out of your detox properly. This is all the things I teach you in the 30 day detox, which comes for free. I'm a holistic health university, right? It's very important stuff. You do not detox if you didn't lose a little bit of weight, right? I'm not saying you got to lose 20, 30 pounds in your detox. It's stepping stones. So your goal maybe to be to get a fatter ass, right? You want to get thick. You want thick thighs. You want more likes on IG. You want more OnlyFans subscribers, right? For the dudes, you want your arm, your sleeves to be tighter, right? That's great. But you ain't detox yet. Let's focus on that first. Let's cleanse the blood, right? Let's cleanse the organs, right? Let's get some circulation going. Let's cleanse the colon, the intestines. Let's get oxygen to the cells. Let's repair our neurotransmitters, right? Let's increase our ATP, all these things first. Now, now, after we do that, we can focus on bulking, getting thick, all that stuff afterwards. But now we gain it back in a healthier manner without clogging our system up and hurting our body, right? And hurting our minds, damaging our nervous system, right? Y'all following what I'm saying? How to detox from the flu shot. That's all in the 30 day detox. You would still, for any of these pokes that y'all are doing, follow the post poke protocol, which you get for free when you join a university. All y'all that felt forced into getting that, follow the post poke. Uh, it's called the jab. Uh, dang, I didn't mean to say that. I don't even like to say that word. <laughs> I meant to spell it out and I said it. The J A B, the post. J-A-B protocol, but I changed, I start saying poke because I realize I get censored less. So yeah, I didn't even mean to say, say that out loud, right? This is why I built my own platform so I can say what I want, when I want, how I want and teach y'all at a high level to get y'all right. All in the Holistic Health University, links in the bio. Uh, go to my story right now. Go to my story right now. Hey, lost 25 pounds, program works, real name, real names, right? Real people, real people. Lost 67 pounds from your program. Love you and your vids. Boom. Boom. Look at this. See that bottom? Oh, you can't see that bottom one. Uh, all three medications the doctor prescribed the doctor prscribed me for diabetes and down 20 pounds. Top one lost 30 pounds. All right. Off diabetes medications, three of them. What's this one? My ass down 20 pounds off of your bundle, which you get for free when you join a university. All right. What's this? Some cholesterol down, lost 30 pounds. See, I'll leave the names in them. You could easily DM these people and say, hey, are you a fake? <laughs> like, imagine me creating 10,000 fake pages, which would mean I would have to have 10,000 fake emails and do all these different profile pictures and write. It would just be, that would just be make me the biggest loser on earth, right? <laughs> and the funny thing is, I know I got some haters in here. But remember, if you ain't got haters, you ain't doing nothing, right? I love it. The more successful I get, the more haters I get. And that's how I know I'm getting more successful and helping more people, right? The more people I help, the more haters I get. That's part of it. If you ain't got no haters, that means you ain't grinding hard enough. That means you ain't pushing the limit like you should, right? <laughs> if you ain't got people worried, if you ain't got grown ass men up at midnight writing paragraphs about your hair, grown straight men, you ain't, you ain't doing enough, right? If you ain't got people telling you you don't know shit and you dumb as hell, if you ain't got people telling you that everything that you have is fake, 
If you ain't got people telling you these things, you ain't doing enough. When I see these things, I'm like, yo, I really, I made it. Mama, we made it. <laughs> we made it. I love it. And then I block them. Because <laughs> I don't allow any negative. That's the funny thing. I think people don't realize, I know they don't, that I don't deal with any negativity on my page. You don't even get second chances. You say one negative thing on my comments, on my live. You're blocked in 0.2 seconds. You don't get second chances, right? And I know that people don't know that because then they always DM me or comment on my backup page because they get blocked and then they search T Walk Talk in the search bar and the backup page comes up and they say, hey, what happened? Why did you block me? I actually really like your information. I apologize. I was just playing, man. You got dope information. I share your stuff all the time. By the way, you think you can help my mom with get off her blood pressure medication? I apologize, man. I was just joking. My bad, I got a phone call. That was a random call, right? I know it freezes when I get phone calls. So, you know, we don't deal with negativity. You shouldn't deal with negativity in your life either. If somebody's negative, get them out of your life. If they ain't bringing peace, you know, you got to analyze. Do they bring peace and joy or do they bring stress, drama, and more? No point in waiting around. Just figure you assess it yourself. Because this is going to cause you to be sick too. This is going to weaken your immune system. Very Stop calling my phone. Jeez, I hate when you ever ignore a call and then they call again. Then you ignore again and they call again. They call again and get blocked. Stay off my line. You know, like people, only only time I like people is when I'm teaching people. Right? Let me read y'all's comments. Y'all got any questions for Hop Off here? I think we got a good message out today. Been on here about 30 minutes probably. What questions y'all got? Yep, that's how you got to treat these fools. Facts. Get them up out of here, right? For the dudes, if your chick ain't shit, get her up out of here. For the women, if your man ain't shit, get him up out of here. Wasting your time. What you doing? Get him up out of here. <laughs> You'll be fine. There's billions of people on this earth. There's billions of options. If you level yourself up, first, health-wise, next, mentally, there'll be even more options, Right? You're going to get more options if your mind is upgraded, right, actually. Women, what you think? What you think? It's easier to get a woman if you're smart and intelligent and you can actually talk about something at lunch, right? <laughs> but I would rather have a brain and smarts about me than a six-pack, right? Just keeping it real. Same thing, vice versa. Women, if you're knowledgeable... You know, this is going to be better than a fat ass, right? They're everywhere. I'm in Miami. You know how many fat asses I see on the day? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That fat ass is probably going to bring me stress, take money from me, bring no value to my life. Right? <laughs> be careful out here, men, women. Be careful. Visuals are cool. I'm not telling you. You should definitely keep yourself... You know, keep yourself right. Keep yourself smelling good, right? Keep yourself hydrated. You don't want scaly, dry, cracked skin, right? <laughs> keep your, you know, keep your physique right. It's important. You know, everybody likes different shapes and sizes and different fetishes and stuff like that. Some people are into women who eat pizza off of their bellies on OnlyFans, right? But that's not the best option. You Like, you know, you know you didn't want to grow up. And eat pizza off of your belly on OnlyFans, right? You just settle for that because you realize you don't have any knowledge about yourself, right? You realize you have no drive, dedication. You have zero discipline, which allows you to get to 355 pounds, right? So now you're just like, oh, I'm going to set this pepperoni pizza on my belly. I'm going to press record and weird people are going to pay me. 
right? But deep down, you're depressed, you're stressed. That isn't that isn't the life you. <laughs> you wasn't a nine year old like. I can't wait to be thirty five and eat <laughs> eat honey buns off of my belly button. Like that's never. I guarantee, hundred percent positive. No nine year olds ever said that, right? However, there's tons of thirty five year olds doing this, right? Lost souls. Lost souls. So it's important to get some knowledge about yourself. Because if you have knowledge, you don't have to... Like, no one can pay me to do something I don't want to do, right? <laughs> you know how many DMs I get daily? Hey, can I have an hour consultation with you? I don't do hour, I don't do phone consultations. I teach in the way I want to teach. Because I know how much value the way I teach brings. I know how much value is in my university and everything you could possibly need is in there. I know how much value is in the free videos that I give y'all, 60, 90 second videos. I know that. I get DMs weekly. I'll do anything. I'll pay you $2,000. I'll pay you $5,000. I get $10,000 offers sometimes to talk to them on the phone. And I deny it. Because you know what's going to happen if I accept that money from them, get them on the phone. And they pay me $2,000. Guess what I'm going to say? The same damn shit I'm saying right now. But they just want to feel that it's, you just want to feel that it's personal. Like, y'all, I'm really talking to T-Walk. Like, y'all, I'm a normal human being just like you. Relax, right? Keep your $2,000. Pay $29 right here, a dollar per day, right? Use that extra money you was going to pay me, that extra $1,900 plus. Get groceries. Get the herbs you need. Get it for your family, Right? Build up, grow up, <laughs> invest in some land, make a farm, like grow up, you know? No, I'm not doing it. You know how many people pay me to do interviews and shit? And I'm like, I don't want to do an interview. I actually don't agree with a lot of your opinions on your other podcast. No. Yeah, I know you got a million followers. No, I don't want to talk to you. Right? <laughs> no. You know people want me to do webinars? Yo, let's do a webinar. Let's clap. No. Yo, we're going to make, if we do, we're going to make six figures in a week. I'm good. When you have knowledge, you have freedom, you have money, no one can pay you to do, you can't pay me to do things I don't want because I have all the money I need, right? I have all the freedom I need. I like the way my life is set up. I appreciate the offer, but no, I'm going to respectfully decline, right? Looking for a shortcut, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, yo. Be yourself. I'm unapologetically myself, right? I don't care if you like me, if you don't. Because understand, no matter how perfect you attempt to be, yeah, have peace. I'm more about peace. I would much rather lay here in my blanket right now, in my robe, on the couch, and reply to some DMs, make a post, set my phone up on something, record something for 60 seconds that I know is going to help tens of thousands of people. Right. And I know people are going to click the link in my bio because they're going to see the testimonials. Right. I'd much rather do that than to be trying the world. I got to catch a flight. Oh, shit. I got to speak in this state. Oh, I got to talk on stage to this people. No, I just don't want to do that. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. Right. I've thought about it. Yeah, I'm very introverted, too. Right. That's another thing. People think, yo, I bet you, yo, you so funny. Like, nah, I'd be chill. <laughs> I'd be chill. I don't like people like that. Right? This is something I had to develop, actually. Right? I had severe anxiety. Social anxiety. Everything. I had to develop this by developing knowledge. Right? You develop courage. Right? You develop some heart, some soul, some personality. You learn how to market yourself. You develop the skill set of speaking. If you don't know how to speak, you're going to have a hard time in business. Right? This is a big reason a lot of people in my university. I literally teach you business. I teach you social media marketing. I teach you how to grow your Instagram super quick. I teach you, I give you all the secrets. You know how many people take action on it? Not many. Why? Because they can't even go through the first. They can't fathom setting the phone up and recording and talking. I'd love to do that. I know that you're teaching me how I can literally quit my job if I put my all in. And bring value to the world, right? I know you're teaching me that, but I couldn't fathom. You mean I got to press record on my phone and talk to it? I know I said all day and 
at work and talk shit to people who don't even like me after I clock out and and just waste my breath and I argue with my man and I argue with my woman and all. But if you want me to go in a room and shut the door and something that I know, because everybody knows something that other people don't know, and talk for 60 seconds and then take 10 minutes to edit the words on the screen and, and post it, uh, it's wild. You need to learn how to talk, right? I didn't know how to talk. I had social anxiety. I was scared to be around people. All, I didn't go to prom. I didn't go to any homecomings. This is how much I've always not liked people, to be honest with you, right? <laughs> I've always been way different, right? Never went to parties. None of these things, Right? So I had to, to, to develop this. Even now, you hear I stutter sometimes. I was in, pulled out of class for a, 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 a look. It just happens. So what? But what if I stutter on camera and then people are going to think I'm dumb and uneducated? I don't care. I stutter all the time. Right? <laughs> That's severe speech impediment, stutter. <laughs> you looking at the boy in the class that used to read slow. Now I'm getting paid because I'm good with the dictionary. Huh? Hey, you know, it's cool. It's cool though, right? You develop repetition, repetition for anything. Working out, repetition, right? You're you're breaking down the muscles, right? So they can come back stronger. Repetition. You start eating more fruits. Before you know it, you start realizing, damn, I know I thought I needed <laughs> a whole plate of meatloaf and some mashed potatoes to be full. Hmm, but now listening to T-Walk, I realize if I eat a whole half of a black seeded watermelon, I'll be full as hell. Damn, I'm bloated as hell over this watermelon. Repetition. And you start realizing like, oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. It's with anything. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Somebody comment free game. I need to see at least 10 free game comments. Or I'm getting the hell off of here. I'm just on here talking shit to y'all, but I know when I talk shit, it'd be valuable. Right, some people just talk shit to talk shit. If I talk shit, anybody know me? If you run, if if you know me in person, when I cross paths, like you gonna get value, right? There we go. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard for me to be around people because I talk and just I realize it's going in one ear and out the other, and they're not paying attention. And in real life, I can't yell, pay attention to people's face. Because then I got to get into an altercation. <laughs> We're being rude. <laughs> That's why I'd much rather just talk to my phone. Right? Y'all cool. I rock with y'all. If you happen to see me out in public, which is a low chance unless you run into me at a farmer's market or at Whole Foods or at a vegan restaurant out on a date or out the country somewhere at a resort or something. If I didn't get a private villa or something, say what's up. Because I know if you come up to me in public and say, yo, I support you, I follow you, you change my life. Like every time I do go out, that happens, right? One or two people, which I love. Say what's up. That lets me know, all right, that's one person that is at least on the same frequency as me or at least gets me a little bit, right? So I love you all. <laughs> but I hate 99% of the world, right? Because you understand there's not many of us. There's not many of us, right? Yeah, I don't know how people do customer service. Like, nah, like, I worked in a cubicle. When I was in Utah, I worked in a cubicle, taking 800 phone calls a day. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. Every person in the call, hi, and I had to say my name. Hey, this is Tevin calling on a recorded line from, blah, blah, blah. stop calling my phone, click. And I was on a dialer, so I had to do like seven, 800 calls a day. Yo, my brain was fried. That's why I always worked in a warehouse. Because our warehouse is probably the least human contact that can possibly have. You don't have to do customer service. Some of them even let you put your headphones in. Or I did overnight stocking at Lowe's. I just clock in. I put my headphones in. I go to my house. I got house 10 through 15. I got the gardening section. I had the gardening, the outdoor gardening area. And I had the, um, the seasonal. It was called seasonal and outdoor gardening. So I was responsible for stocking all the Christmas trees when it's that time of year. The grills, you know, all like the outdoor type stuff, lawnmowers, all that stuff, right? Just put my headphones in. I 
do my shit. I hop on my forklift, I go up in the racks, pull stuff down that needs restocked. That's it. I don't want any contact, right? <laughs> but then I had to come to the realization, how far am I going to get in life? If this is I, if this is where I decide this is as far as I can take it. I'm making thirteen dollars an hour. You mean to tell me that's as good as I am? Thirteen dollars an hour after taxes? What's that like? Eleven hundred every two weeks, right? Maybe, right? Not including if you got insurance coming out and all that. I'm like, all right. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to talk. <laughs> Not talking and staying in my little cubby hole, stocking Christmas trees. I ain't about to pay my mom's bills. and ain't about to give me my dream life and freedom, right? Put an application for another job that pays 75 cents more at FedEx, which I did. I worked at FedEx overnight and like FedEx, FedEx something and FedEx ground, right? Scanning these barcodes, putting these boxes in the back of the truck and stacking it high and making a perfect wall and blah, 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 all that stuff. It ain't going to get me far in life. There's no way. That this is what, whatever you believe in, there's no way God, there's no way Jesus, there's no way, whatever you call him, Yahweh, there's no way that, whatever you worship, I don't know what you worship, what you believe in, there's no way that the sun, almond rod, there's no way that this is what I was put here to do. There's no way. <laughs> there's no fucking way, right? This is what you got to come to the realization of, whatever you're doing right now. Y'all start commenting, I need y'all to comment, what, what do you do? What's your occupation? What do you do for a living? I'm interested, right? I'm interested. And as you're doing that, as you're even typing it, like you should be typing it like, yo, this is really what I do? Like, I'm better than this. You understand that, right? This is really my schedule. This is really how much I get paid. I really can hardly afford groceries. I really got a request six months in advance to get a week off. I really ain't even got money to go to the to the beach this year. I really got to be on the highway all day driving a damn truck for a company that's making mil hundreds of millions of dollars or billions of dollars, and I'm even like this. Like I'm a, I'm only making eighty thousand a year, right? I'm just keeping it real, right? I can't see my family because I'm on the road. I'm try I'm driving cross country. Right? This is how you got to think. Even if you're in healthcare, I see teachers, healthcare, things like that. That's great. Right? But you can teach on your own, right? You can teach on your own. I remember with my ex-wife. You know, this is when I was broke too. Even when I was broke, I always had the mindset of like hustle, freedom, not having a boss, right? And making a lot of money doing it, right? So my ex-wife, she was a teacher. I'm from West Virginia. They have the lowest pay rate for teachers in the nation, or at least at the time they did. Right? It's like probably 2000, I don't know, 11 through 16 or something, right? She was making like 27000 a year, right? And then she still got to pay for supplies for the students that don't have it and stuff like that, right? life insurance, health insurance, bringing home, you a teacher, you bringing home $800 every two weeks, right? That's crazy. So I remember I was telling her, I was like, all right, you're a good teacher. The students love you. The parents love you. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to start talking to the parents after school. You're going to tell them you do personal tutoring, right? And you're going to start getting a lot of people like that Boom, you got a big family. You got a lot of friends. She was popular. I'm like, you don't need to work for this company. And the, the curriculum you're teaching them, you come home and complain because you're teaching them shit that you believe isn't important and isn't bringing value to them. You know the school system, the, the, yeah, the curriculum's trash, right? You could teach on your own without a boss. You can make your own schedule. You can make more money, right? And then what you can do is, this is for anything. I'm just going off at the top. Boom. Then you get so many students. Because you're a good teacher, you could teach someone else who's, you know how they have like the, uh, the teacher's aides or people that are like about to finish college. So you got to come in and I don't know the terminology and like teach a couple times per week or something like that. You can do that on your own. You teach them and now boom, now you hire them. Now you step back so you get more free time. 
Before you know it, you got four teachers under you. <laughs> and you just, now you teaching the teachers. Now you done taught another teacher how to teach the teachers. Now you back even further. Now you making 400000 a year. You helping more students learn a curriculum that's actually important for them, right? Right? <laughs> You're employing other people, helping them make money, teaching them how they can create their own business and freedom. Y'all following what I'm saying? This is how I always think. Like, there's no way somebody's about to tell me what to do. <laughs> there's no way I'm setting a fucking alarm. There's no way I got to set my alarm. <sighs> Commute in traffic. Yo, <laughs> you know how much I hate traffic? <laughs> it's never happening again. When it was happening, I said, yo, literally the same conversation I would have with myself. There's no way I'm doing this for another five months. There's no way, I, yo, this boss talks to me like shit. This boss gonna tell me I can't speak. <laughs> this boss is racist. This boss is mad disrespectful. Yo, my check is 1200 every two weeks. It's not even 3000 a month. Yo, th there's no way. It's not a side hustle. You need a, you need, well, yeah, you need your side hustle in the meantime, but a lot of people wanna work their job and oh yeah, but I got a side hustle. Yeah, but you still got a job. You still got a boss. You still got a schedule, right? And your side hustle is your side hustle because you're not putting your all into it. So it's always going to be your side hustle, right? Let's talk about side hustles. As long as your side hustle is your side hustle, it's always going to be your side hustle. <laughs> Does that make sense, right? I quit. I mean, I don't know. I guess you could call me high risk, but I feel that all the people you look up to, People to have a high level of success and freedom and wealth and make a big impact on the world. You got to be high risk. You're not going to get success and freedom and wealth and get all your get your dream life from low risk. Do you understand that? Right? You make educated high risk movements. Okay, <laughs> this is what you got to do. All right, you follow what I'm saying? Bro, you tripping me out. I'm on shrooms. Okay. Let me ask you something. What, is the, what value did those shrooms bring to you? What caused you to consume those shrooms today? Most people only consume shrooms because they feel like they're going to get enlightened and they're going to have a woke moment and it's going to change their life. That's what most people think. However, most people are just not in their right mind and not being productive and acting like they know shit today. Oh, shit. I finally figured it out. And you ain't figure shit out. Right? Most of you don't need to be on shrooms. You don't need to be smoking weed. You don't need to be watching the, uh, the Colorado game this Saturday. Saturday is your one day for free time, right? That's your one day where you don't have a job. Are you going to waste three hours watching, watching uh, who is it? Deion Sanders in Colorado and Lil Wayne perform? Millionaires? Multi-millionaires? And athletes that are about to be millionaires, that are working towards their goal of getting million-dollar contracts, that's what you're going to do, knowing you got to go clocking at Amazon on Monday. That's what you're going to do. Is wait. Those three hours are the little bit of time that you get. The last thing you need to be doing is watching other millionaires make more millions, right? What you need to be doing is locking in, learning a high income earning skill set. You need to be going through a course. You need to be studying an ebook. You need to be reading books. You need to be on YouTube watching free podcasts from successful people in your, in your lane. You need to be, right? I mean, you want to take care of your mom and your kids and travel the world and get experiences and have freedom and success, right? That's what, that, that's what you say. That's what you talk about when you're around your homies and shit. Yeah, you know, we're going to make it out one day. Yeah, yeah. Right? Anyways, yo, who throwing a party for the game this, this Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work like that. Do you understand that? It's never going to work. You could do that stuff afterwards. After you get your success and your freedom and take care of your family and provide and... You're in a comfortable place. Most people are very uncomfortable. Health, wealth, uncomfortable in your own mind, unhappy with yourself, depressed, stressed. What's caused you to be on these pills? 
So you need to be putting work in. You need to be hitting the gym. All right? I'm going to end it on that note. We went in on a lot today. I have this live replay uploaded on my YouTube channel. Make sure all y'all subscribe to my YouTube. YouTube name is the same, T Walk the Hawk. YouTube.com slash T Walk the Hawk, or just search it. I think I got like 32,000 subscribers, so you know what you're looking for. Uh, crypto going to spike again in 2025, right? Midway through 2024, start, start racking up. Or early 2024, when the price is super low. 2025 is going to spike again and everybody's going to be posting saying how they're crypto geniuses and I told y'all and all that. Crypto runs in four-year cycles. I teach you crypto in my holistic health university, right? So I made tens of thousands of dollars on crypto. Um, primarily 20... What are we in now? So, yo, see, life be going quick. It's 2020. It's about to be 2024 already. Oh, so it's about to be... T it's about time. See, I don't even be... I'll be forgetting, right? So, yeah. It's about that time. It's a reminder to myself. It's about that time. I'm about to grab some more Ethereum, some other things, right? It's a good time to get in, go through that crypto course in my university. Because if you can learn that now, I'm telling you, 2024, hitting into Christmas of 2025, Bitcoin going to be crazy. XRP going to be crazy. Ethereum going to be crazy. XLM going to be crazy. All these... Every, really anything. This is when all the meme coins is going to go crazy. Everything's going to go crazy, right? Cycles, four-year cycles, right? Just like real estate has cycles. Crypto has cycles. Stocks have cycles. And you need to know these things, right? That way you know when it's the best time to sell your real estate. You flip properties and things like that, right? You know these things. I teach you all these things at my Holistic Health University. can only hope that the members are going through the financial courses just as well as the Holistic Health courses because they could literally change your life. If you take notes, if you lock in, right? Yeah, I'm ending on that note. This is about to be my new filter. <laughs> I'll let y'all later. Y'all know my phrase. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. It's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses, nothing to it, but to do it. Put your finger in the mirror if you blew it, right? It's your fault. If you're sick, you're broke, you're uneducated, stupid, soft, it's your fault. Do something about it. Even if something's not your fault, find a way to make it your fault because that's going to make you push harder and be more disciplined. All right? Text that word T-Walk to the phone number 41372. If you haven't yet, um, to all the haters, thanks for watching me. <laughs> Go comment something negative so you can get blocked. I appreciate it. You know. <laughs> Click the link in my bio to join my Holistic Health University, a dollar per day to literally change your life. Shout out to the about 20 people who signed up today, every damn day. Shout out to y'all. You know, it ain't many of us. It ain't many of us, right? Peace out. Yeah, shout out to the 4,000 plus members of the university. Let, all right, let me end it on this note, right? Say you learn something that brings a lot of value to the world, right? You learn something that brings a lot of value to the world. You develop a high skill set at something, right? Could be... Could be anything you're passionate about, right? Once you do that, right, you ain't, you can have, let's say you have 5,000 followers on Instagram, right? You think like, oh, how could I ever get success and freedom and make the money from social media that I want? I only have 5,000, I only have, where's my phone? I only got 2,000 Supporters, right? I only got 2,000 followers, right? Just random, right? I'm horrible at math, so I have to get my other phone to pull up the calculator, right? Again, I'm a high school dropout. I failed ninth grade math to my senior year, and then I dropped out because all the little 14-year-olds were trying to flirt with me, and I was 17 and a half with a goatee beard, and <laughs> I realized it was just my time to go. I'm clearly not figuring out these equations, and now 14-year-olds is passing me notes. I got to go. <laughs> I already won my state championship. Got my, got my championship ring for basketball. I'm out of here, right? Because I'm not picking up on this shit that these teachers are putting down. <laughs> so anyways, right? So you got 2,000. I don't, you know, I the fact I need my calculator for shit like this, this just shows you how uneducated, I guess you could say I am in certain, certain realms, right? Everybody's a genius in their own way. 
right? You got to find your genius. You got to find your superpower, right? Who, who's a superhero? Flash. He's super fast, right? But he, he can't do all the other, he's, he, he can't do all the other stuff, right? Everybody can say own superpowers, right? <laughs> that would have been much better if I was like well-versed on superheroes and their superpowers. It didn't come out as smooth and like, oh, like, you know, I thought it was going to sound better. All right, so you got 2,000 followers. See, I got ADHD too. I'll be all over the place. It's fine. It's not an issue. You can still do it, right? So you got 2,000 followers. Boom. Let's say you get, remember, you got 2,000 followers, but you, you got a, you got a skill set. You know some shit that other people don't know, right? And not only do they not know it, once they learn it, it's going to bring a lot of value to them, right? And change their life in some way. So that's going to make you not feel bad for having a business around it. If you have a business that isn't bringing value to the world and that is scammy or sleazy or just weird and just unethical, then you're going to deep down feel bad like, oh, why am I charging this, right? But if you know you're bringing a lot of value to the world, and you know that not only that, but the product that you're offering is you under-promising and over-delivering. And for the price point that you charge for it is super cheap because you know you could charge more, right? This is how you have to analyze things when you're setting things up, right? For me, I have no issue at all. I sleep completely well at night, at night charging a dollar per day to help people get rid of cancer and diabetes and learn 10 different streams of income. I sleep super well knowing they get 24-7 support in my private telegram group. They get live workouts with a personal trainer, live yoga classes with a high-level yoga instructor. Knowing these things, right? Sleep super well at night, right? So you got to be able to do that, right? So again, you have 2,000 followers. Out of your 2,000 followers, you have this skill set. So you come up with a program. Say a subscription-based program, right? Okay, let's say out of those 2,000, and again, I don't know what y'all's monthly income is. Out of those 2,000 supporters, based on your knowledge, you've helped motivate, right? You're not tricking. You're not scamming. You're simply teaching what you know, and it's motivating and inspiring other people to want to lock in with you, right? So out of those 2,000, I don't know. Let's start with like a lower number. Let's say 326 people. Click the link in your bio and subscribe to whatever you teach, right? Let's say your price point is, let's say, $40 a month, right? Now you got $13,000 a month you're making. You don't need hundreds of thousands of followers, right? You don't need a million followers. And we're just saying this through platform. Maybe you got 2,000 on Instagram. You got 600 on TikTok. You got 200 on Twitter. You got 40 people on your Rumble right? Because you should have every platform, right? You got, did I say YouTube? You got 200 YouTube subscribers, right? And we just used a random number. Let's say your price point again is $40 and you get, let's go even lower, right? Let's say 173 people to subscribe. 7,000 a month. A lot of people ain't making 7,000 a month from the job, right? And then you keep building on that. Every single month, you keep bringing more value. As you're bringing more value, you're going to get more testimonials of people vouching for you, letting other people know, yo, they actually do know their stuff and the stuff I learned from them actually did change my life, right? More people's going to keep coming. And then that just keeps going up also, right? So I give you all this, like nobody be giving you all this. Comment one if you understand I'm giving you all value, right? And at least unlocking something in your mind to make you realize like, oh, it, it makes it seem more, more tangible, more realistic, more possible, right? Comment one if I'm making it seem like, oh, more realistic and not as hard as people make it seem, right? Comment one. Is, is anybody understanding this, right? What else? Um, I'm just going off at the top. It's really, yeah, just value. You bring value, you have knowledge on something, and the value that you bring is for a great price point and you're bringing more value and changing lives and change, making the world a better place in some form or fashion. Like, what is, so that's 7,000. You had, what would we do? Like 200 people, 7,000. That's at $40, did 200 and something, $40, 7,000 a month. That's what, 3,500 every two weeks. Most of you ain't making 3,500 every two weeks. Most people's not. We can look at the analytics. Right. Come on now. It's simple. 
Now let's say you get to other levels, right? Where you have, I don't know. Again, I keep it super transparent with y'all. I have no issues. I keep it real when no one else will. Let's say you have 4,000 people. Let's just say roundabout. Let's say some dude who's like really good at what he does and really intelligent and brings a lot of value to the world and helps people get rid of diseases and teaches them how to get out of their jobs and grow their Instagram and make a lot of money and build credit. Let's say this person is like, dude, let's say there's some crazy person who has the audacity and like is actually only charging $29.99 a dollar per day for that, right? (laughs) And let's say this person has an amazing amount of dramatic testimonials of real people that you can verify, right? Let's say there's this some human being like that out there, right? And again, he charges just twenty nine nine nine, right? And let's say out of hundreds of thousands of supporters, only four thousand really rock with him like that. Like only four thousand really rock, really rock, rock with this dude like that. Like between TikTok of almost eight hundred thousand supporters, this person, this person I'm mentioning, right, and his backup page with one hundred fifty thousand. And his main page with 270,000 and his YouTube with 32,000 and his Rumble account with who knows what and his Twitter with a thousand. Say out of these millions of people, only 4,000 rock with this ball, right? Only 4,000, right? So we take 2999, right? 2999. This dude crazy. 2999, that's wild. I say 4,200, about 4,200 people. This dude. I, this dude I'm mentioning, I know him. Like, he like a distant, distant relative. We, I kicked it with him at the cookout, right? 4,200 people, right? 29, 4,200, right? Times 4,200 people. Out of the millions, only 42. You would think a higher percentage of people rock with him and shit, right? So it kind of would make a lot of people feel like, damn, they really don't fuck with me, right? But then you do 4,200, right, people. 29, you're looking at... Monthly, right? You see what I'm saying? Y'all comment one if you follow what I'm saying. Comment one if you follow what I'm saying. If this person can do it, and mind you, this person I'm talking about is a high school dropout, LD, LD classes, ADHD, ADD, father was a crack kid from a small town in West Virginia, Hedgesville, West Virginia on the borderline, 300 people, uh, grew up around domestic violence, guns in the house, drugs, get on the floor, throw them, throwing them in the closet, uh, passed out from anxiety attacks, in and out the hospital, was sick, uh, got made fun of, got bullied, dealt with racial issues. This person, right? And mind you, this person doesn't like people. This person doesn't do, doesn't travel the world and do lectures. This person doesn't do seminars. This person doesn't do webinars. This person doesn't do meet and greets. This person doesn't do retreats. This person is like a super loner. This person like sets in his apartment all day. (laughs) Like (laughs) this person is way, he's like weird. He's like an alien, right? (laughs) This person don't smoke. This person don't drink. This person don't club. This person don't strip club. This person don't take shots. This person don't smoke weed. This person don't pop pills. This person doesn't do steroids. This person doesn't, (laughs) this person is an alien, right? (laughs) Hey, this dude, I don't know where this dude came from. Insane. This dude should be highly motivational and inspirational. This person should make you realize what's possible. This person should show you that no matter what you come from, this person should show you that if you bring enough value to the world, that the world will bring value to you, right? This person might be insane though, right? Because this person deals with a lot of hate and a lot of negativity, but this person realizes that the more stress you can handle, the more success you will have, right? Your success is determined upon the amount of stress that you can handle, right? This person has woke up to his pages, all the millions of followers gone. This person has woke up to his bank accounts frozen. This person has woke up to <laughs> websites banned. This person has woke up to his PayPal banned, his Venmo banned, Hundreds of thousands of dollars stolen. This person has had deaths in the family. This person has had own father sends them death threats monthly, <laughs> right? This person, like, shit ain't easy. This person has triumphed 
if that person said that, right, for tens of years and stayed consistent and never stopped through all the hate, through all the negative comments, through all the drugs and the deaths and the robberies and the, and the teachers who said this person wouldn't be shit and all the people who made fun of them and this person being sick in and out of the hospital. This person managed to, to, to handle all those stresses and keep going, right? Because this person understands that the amount of stress that you can handle will determine your success and your freedom. And then once you do that, you give back to the people in every way you know how. And this person wakes up every single day for 10 years straight and drops brand new videos nonstop. This person never stops. This person never misses a day of testimonials. This person on the day his grandma died came on here and said brand new testimonials every single day. This person never stops no matter what. This person got another text about his other grandma possibly on her deathbed yesterday and still showed up and posted probably 10 testimonials and still went live and still posted 10 free videos just on this page alone and on his backup page and to the YouTube page and to the TikTok. <laughs> this person is different. I understand that. This person actually cares about people, actually cares about the earth and is actually saddened by the way that we are destroyed mentally physically in the slavery that we are in and we don't even realize in the way that the humanity has turned into zombies. This person actually cares, right? Hey, this person's crazy. I'll let y'all later. Peace out.